you know. But I was writing every morning. I write, man. I write. By that time, I could write anything. I write. I write a story about a pencil. Anything. That's right. I said that one morning, writing about the about the mass meeting, and the reporter next to me, named Les Hall, he covered Capitol Hill, state government. Well, the governor was named Clement then. This young man running for senate now, his dad, his daddy. <clears throat> He had appointed a Negro in Memphis to a job that no Negro had ever had, position. And this Les Hart sitting next to me couldn't think of that man's name, the Negro's name. So he's sitting back here. I'm in the, we're at the back of the city room. The city desk is about a far over the way under the wall, wall of that church, outside wall of the church. He said, oh, of getting up, walking up and asking him the question, he yells up there to the city editor, who named Bob Battle. I'm right tapping my head off, man. He said, hey, Bob, what's that nigga's name down in Memphis? Well, here I am. It, it shocked myself. What the, what am I gonna do now? And when he said that, he knew he did something wrong. He looked over at me and FaceTime real red. He got up there and went up to the city. I don't know what he said. But when he came back, I wrote, we got this, this thing like this, rollers on them. I rolled over to his desk and, and told him, I said, Les, I, I told him I was very surprised and sorry that you make a statement like that. I'm surprised. I didn't think you would do something like that. A few moments before that, Les Hard and Dick Battle, the man that greeted me when I came there, and I was standing in the middle of the desk, city, desk, city room talking about Emmett Till. They had just pulled Emmett Till's body from the Tallahassee River. He had a white man say he had gotten smart with his, too smart with his wife, who was a clerk in the you know, grocery store. Emmett had visited, was visiting at Mississippi Town, I can't think of the name of it, with his mother from Chicago, and he had, uh, the man said he had flooded with his wife, so they went and drug him out of his house, lynched him, beat him all up, tied some chains and heavy weight to him and threw him in the river. Well, he got on the Associated Press that this man, that this has happened in Mississippi, and we were standing in the middle of the desert, city room with less heart. And Dick Bell, I'm standing there with him, talking about it, and it came over the Associated Press, why, you know? It was shame, and Les was one of the most vehemently uh, concerned that they'd done something like that to a Negro. And I said to myself, I didn't know he was like that. I said, he probably said, I thought he was usually one of those Becker Woods type gaps, you know? And then he pulls off this business by, hey, Bob, what's that nigga name down in Memphis? I said, I thought you were better than that, lad. And I rolled back over to my desk. And then he rolls over to my desk to tell me how sorry he was. He was very so smart. He wanted to embarrass me like that. And he, he got a lot, I said, he, has, he told me he had a lot of colored friends. You mean I said to my colored friends how I feel about colored people? Well, I know the other words from shit. Oh, yeah. I, 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 <laughs> he, he didn't declare, he didn't declare himself then. But he rolled on back and okay. But after that, we uh, less wouldn't hardly speak to me.